Now, in order to answer the question, what is the best YouTube keyword research tool? We first need to ask what makes a good keyword research tool? What is it we want from a keyword research tool? We want it to find quickly high quality keywords that we can rank for now based on the size of our channel and the competition out there. We want it to show us exactly what we can rank for, take out the guesswork and make our lives much much easier, which eliminates most free tools because they don't link to our channel and they don't really tell us what the competition are doing. So that competition analysis just isn't there. So free tools aren't going to do it. But what might actually surprise you is that on testing, we've been using the larger two keyword tools out there, which was vidIQ and also TubeBuddy. And what we noticed that vidIQ and TubeBuddy used on their own were only about 40 to 60% effective at showing us exactly what keywords we can rank for. They were great at finding ideas and making suggestions, but they would then say, this is excellent, you should go for it, or that the competition is very low, go for it, you should be able to rank your video. But should is not great. I don't know about you, but using the sort of old carpenters saying out there that you measure twice and cut once, I really want to measure twice and record once, because if I'm going to go to the effort of creating a video in the first place, editing it, putting it on YouTube, I want to get the best results. I want to be in the top 10. And if the keyword research tool is only doing a little bit of the work and I end up in the top 20 to 25, then I'm not going to get the results that I wanted and expected from that keyword. So I would have been better off creating a video on a different subject. So the two tools that we actually are going to be recommending and using together to make that more powerful and to actually bring up the amount. So the best key keyword research tool out there is actually a combination of two. And those tools, two tools are vidIQ and another one called Morning Fame. Now I'm gonna show you why vidIQ, and I will put links to both of them in any free trials that you can get, and additional free training on exactly how we use these two tools together to do our keyword research, to make sure that we're getting about 90 to 100% effective rates of finding keywords that we can definitely rank for. So you're gonna get better results and grow your channel faster. Now we decided to use vidIQ a while ago above TubeBuddy simply because of the keyword research tool. Their keyword research tool is far more powerful. It's almost like a Google Ads tool where it shows you hundreds of video uh, uh, keyword ideas based on a general keyword that you post into the top. So if you have a general idea for a video or you have a general keyword that you want to put in, put it in here and search and it will give you dozens if not hundreds of video ideas for you to be able to check against. But what I really like, and this is where it won out right, especially in the, the lower accounts, you will need the pro account, which is about $7.50 for this in vidIQ, but that beats the low cost account in TubeBuddy because of this tool. Because I like to see visually what level of searches each and every month each keyword has. So if I was going to go for a keyword and then I see a similar keyword that has three times the volume at the same level of competition, then obviously I'm going to want to go for that keyword because it's going to bring in more views for my videos and my channel if I'm able to manage to rank for that keyword in the first place. So we want to do our keyword research. And as I said, I'll show you exactly how we use those in a different video. I'll put a link in the description. But otherwise, let's say I come across here and I want to look for low competition ones. I've linked vidIQ and Morning Fame to my channel. So therefore it's pulling in data from there and it knows what I can rank for. So I want to look at very low. So if I said, okay, this one has some good monthly volume. It's very low competition. It's on the subject of what I want to do. It doesn't seem too general that it might be a little bit, uh, have too many meanings. So it's not going to be targeted enough for my audience. So this is perfect. So what I want to do is highlight that, copy that, and then I would go across to the second tool, which is Morning Fame. Now, Morning Fame is amazing at the optimization side and telling you based on the competition research and your channel, if you're going to be able to rank. Now, vidIQ and TubeBuddy, these are very good at keyword research, especially vidIQ, and looking into channels and videos and showing you information there. So in terms of the front-end keyword research, making that fast, especially where you're a small channel, keyword research can be very, very tiresome and take a long time. So we want something that's gonna make it quicker. And obviously the keyword research tool here does that. But then we wanna come across the morning fame, go to the search section, and I wanna paste that keyword right here. And then what that's gonna do is give me a very easy to understand display of whether or not I can rank 
for that keyword. And obviously here in vidIQ, much like TubeBuddy, if I was just to take it on the merits of vidIQ and TubeBuddy, then I would have created that video and there's a good chance because I have Fs and Es here, I want at least Ds across the board that I would not rank in the top 10 or 15 anytime soon. I wouldn't rank, I wouldn't beat any of these videos. So I really want to look for a search term that I definitely can rank for. So vidIQ has, Morning Fame is now showing me that the idea of vidIQ is good, but it's not quite good enough to get me into the top 10. So what I now want to do is look for a suggestion. Now I could keep going into vidIQ and checking out and copying all the different similar and relevant low, low competition keywords I want to use, or I can go into the suggestions part here and see if there's anything similar. Now I've already done some research and I can see that I found a very similar keyword that has Ds and even Bs across the board. And the volume was the same, still about 48, and it's got Ds across the board and a B here. So I'm definitely 100% gonna be able to rank for this video based on the size of my channel and the engagement of this channel. This is just a small channel, but there's actually a lot of views and a lot of engagement that I could potentially get from this video. Now I will go into more detail in the training of how to use Morning Fame and vidIQ together, how to look at the competitors and actually do the optimization for your video as well. As I said, I will put a link in the description, but if you found this video useful, then please hit the like button as it helps grow our channel and helps us reach more and more people. And if you've got any questions questions regarding morning fame or anything to do with keyword research for YouTube in general. Maybe you've been using TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Tell me, did you find that it was accurate enough? Did you find that it probably was around the 50 to 60 mark and that you weren't always getting the results you hoped for or your videos weren't always ranking? Or maybe you've had a different experience and you found that they always ranked and you didn't have any problems at all. I'd love to hear your feedback and as always, any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you inside the next training video.